Hi, in this video, we want to talk about how to plot a 3D bar chart like this in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. Suppose that we have three countries, A, B, and C, and the corresponding population of each country, and we want to plot a 3D bar chart like this. In order to do so, first of all, we should import, we should simply type from MPL toolkits, import and plot 3D, which is used for plotting 3D charts. And also we need to import matplotlib. So we simply type import matplotlib.pyplot, matplotlib.pyplot as plt. There it is. Now we need to define a couple of variables in order to plot a chart like this. The first three variables are the starting point of each bar. For example, as you can see in this chart, we have three bars, the red bar, the green bar, and the blue bar. The red bar is the population of country A, the green bar is the population of country B, and the blue bar is the population of country C. So what is the starting point of this first bar? I mean the red bar. As you can see, the X of the first bar is one. So as you can see, the X of the first bar is one. So I define a variable called X, which for the first bar is one. For the second bar is two, there it is. And for the third bar, it is three. But now let's talk about the Y variable. So if you want to talk about the Y variable, what is the Y coordinate for the first bar? It is zero. So as you can see, this is the zero. And remember that the starting point is, is the bottom left point. So this is the point that you should notice. So the Y coordinates of the, of the red bar is zero. The Y coordinate of the second bar, which is green, is also zero. And the Y coordinate of this bar is again zero. So as you can see, the Y of all the bars are zero. That's it. But now let's talk about the Z variable. As you can see, the starting point, the Z coordinate of the starting point for the red bar is also zero. Remember that the starting point is bottom left. So this is the point that we are talking about. So as you can see, the Z coordinate of this point is zero. So as you can see, the Z coordinate of this point is zero. And what about this bar? Again, the Z coordinates of this bar for the starting point is zero. And for the starting point of this bar is again zero. So the Z variable is zero, zero, and zero. So that's it. So here we have defined three variables, which are the coordinates of the starting point of each bar. So now we want to define another three variables, which are delta x, dx, delta y, dy, and also delta z, dz. So for example, here, as you can see for the first bar, which is the red bar, the delta x, the delta x is one. So you can see that the delta x is one, so one. And what about the delta y? So as you can see, the delta y of the first bar, of the first bar is also one. And the delta z is the height of this bar. And the delta z is the height of this bar, which is one, which is the population of that country. So that's it. And let's talk about the delta x of the, let's talk about the delta x of the green bar, which is one again. And the delta y of this bar is again one. And the delta z, I mean the height of this bar is four. So that's it. And the delta x of the third bar is one. The delta y is again one. And the delta z, I mean the height of the third bar is two. So that's it. So here we have defined six variables, three variables for the starting point and three variables for the delta variables, delta x, delta y, and delta z. Now let's plot the chart itself. In order to do so, first of all, we need to create a figure. So we simply type plt.figure because we want to create a figure and we want to call it fig. And also we want to create axes, which we are going to plot all this stuff on that axis. So we simply type plt.axes. So we simply type plt.axes. And remember that you should specify projection equals to 3D with a small d, because you want to have a 3D chart and you are telling Matplotlib that you want a axes, you want an axis that have three dimensions, not two dimensions. So the projection should be 3D. And for example, you call the axis, for example, AX or whatever name you want. So here we have defined figure and axes. So now let's go ahead. So I simply type ax.bar3d, but as you can see, the auto completion of PyCharm doesn't suggest you anything because it cannot recognize the type of this variable 
until it hasn't been executed. So in order to get better auto completion of PyCharm, we want to run all the stuff in the console. So I select all the lines and I right click and then select execute selection in Python console. Then it should wait a couple of seconds. So now you can see that here is our figure and here is the axis. Here is the figure and this is our axis. And now we want to plot our bar chart on this axis. So we simply type ax dot bar 3d that's it and we should define a couple of parameters a couple of arguments x y and z which are our variables which we have defined here x y and z the starting point of the bars and then delta x delta y and delta z and the color is a list which for example for the first bar we want a red color for the second one we want the green color and for the third one you want the blue color so that's it so I should press enter and as you can see we have three bars the first bar is red the second one is green and the third one is blue but now let's make this chart more beautiful and convert it to something like this first of all we want to define X label Y label and Z label so in order to do so we simply type ax dot set x label x label which is x and ax dot set y label y label which is y and ax dot set z label which is z so now we can see we have x label y label and z label and now let's change the x ticks and their corresponding labels so for example we simply type ax dot set x ticks and we should pass first of all we should pass the text positions so in this chart you can see the first position is one the second one is two and the third one is three which is our x variable so our positions for the x text is x and their labels their their corresponding labels is our countries our countries variable which is a b c so we simply type countries there it is and if i press enter you can see that we have a better looking chart which it says that this is a bar for country A this is the bar for country B and this is the bar for country C and if you want to define the X ticks in the middle of the bar you can simply type AX dot set X ticks and you can pass 1.5 2.5 3.5 and then the country's variable so if you press enter now you can see that the X ticks is in the middle of the bar before going further let's copy all we have typed in the console and paste it to the editor because you want to have all the code in the editor so first of all we need to copy this and paste it here and then we need to copy this and paste it here and also and also copy this and paste it here and finally copy this and paste it here then we simply type plt.show in order to show the chart so that's it here is our code but as you can see this chart i mean the chart on the right side is more beautiful than this chart why because the y positions in the right chart is from the y limits is from minus one all the way up to three but in this case it is not it is from zero all the way up to one which makes it a little bit ugly we can fix this problem in a couple of manners in a couple of ways the first way is simply typing ax dot set y limit y limit and you can simply define the limits for the y axis for example you can simply type minus one all the way up to for example three and if you press enter you can see that this chart is now a little bit more beautiful and it's somewhat similar to this chart and for zooming out from this chart you should press the right key on your mouse and drag up if you drag in it will zoom in if you drag up it will zoom out so you can see that if I zoom out now it's similar to this chart and the other way is to copy a code which I have found in this website which I will put the link in the description below and you can simply paste it in your code in the beginning of your code and because in this code it uses numpy package so you should import numpy so you should import numpy package as in p and finally you can see that the name of the function is set axis equal so 
before plt.show, not in the beginning. And the reason I say before plt.show is because it should be after all this stuff about plotting. So you simply type set axis equal, you call the function, and it should pass the axis, which is the ax variable. So if you run a code, you can see here's the output, and you can press the right key on your mouse in order and drag up in order to zoom out. And now we can see we have a better looking chart.